UN human rights expert on Sudan on Saturday called for accelerated investigations into killings of protesters and other atrocities as the death toll since last year's coup nears 100. On Friday, another protester was killed as thousands took to the streets to mark the third anniversary of a crackdown in which over 120 people were killed in 2019. I was shocked by the killing of a young man yesterday during the protest to mark the violent dispersal by security forces of the 3rd June pro-democracy sitting in Khartoum in 2019. I and many others had called for restraint yesterday. However, it seems that this call was not heeded and live ammunition was used to disperse protesters. There can be no justification for firing live ammunition at unarmed protesters. It is simply unacceptable that 99 people have been killed and more than 5,000 injured as a result of excessive use of force by the Joint Security Forces responding to protests. Sudan has been rocked by deepening unrest and a violent crackdown against near-daily protests since Army Chief Abdel Fattah al-Burhan's power grab last October. The army takeover appended a fragile transition to civilian rule. UN-led talks meant to find a settlement have not been successful. 